good afternoon, everyone. Uh, thanks for coming to our presentation. So today, Parker Anderson, John Gerardo, and myself, Terence Wong, will walk you through our vision of Islandi in the next 30 years. And Parker will talk about the uh, statement of intent next. Yeah, so the, the poor health of the Islandi population is the biggest issue facing Islandi today. Our 30-year plan aims to create a community with a life expectancy uh, which at least on average with the state of Michigan, we're using the life expectancy number as a metric, and as you can see, it's landing is significantly lower than neighboring Ann Arbor. Um, so we've broken those into three systems. One is a food system. Preston studies have indicated that access to farmers markets and fresh produce have increased the life expectancy of those study areas. It's our intention to look at creative ways to strengthen and build uh, on the existing network in order to achieve a healthier uh, population. Um, engaging in programs like CSA, SNAP, and microloans is a, is a way to do that. Obviously, Ypsilanti has um, some issues facing that are uh, lifestyle issues like obesity, high blood pressure, and diabetes. Um, we have challenges of, there's some big demanders such as Eastern Michigan University that is, is interested in healthy food, and we also have a significant supply of those healthy food as, as well. So a banking system is very vital to the um, health and the life quality and the safety of the citizen of its landy. Uh, establishing a well-designed biking system are definitely very helpful for uh, the 13.6% 13 13 of its landy households. Um, so in terms of why we exactly choose the biking system, uh, according to our research and the present studies, uh, biking uh, to commute uh, can add approximately 7.5 years to your lifespan in total by improving your muscle mass, reducing, uh, reducing stress, and uh, preventing you from being exposed to air pollutants. So I chose to focus on explaining social life and how we can improve that, and then by improving social life, how we can improve public health. So by social life, I mean uh, to improve public events like this, the Dipsy campaign, and then the social lingering spaces like Depot Town, and Here's a picture of a Riverside Park with a, I think this is a picture of the Beer Fest. So kind of build up these already good um, social events and build public health. So I found this article which actually proves how, or not, yeah, proves and discusses how building social relationships and good social spaces can actually improve your physical health, not just your mental health, but actual physical well -being. So we have these three areas of focus. We feel these three items heavily rely on each other for success. Uh, and the collaboration, the collaboration between these three is the foundation uh, for our vision uh, for Ypsilanti. So we're, this is the, our area of focus, the Ypsilanti downtown and surrounding area. Uh, there's many organizations and individuals already engaged in creating a, a vibrant, healthy food system. Uh, what we're trying to do is, is identify all the current uh, as well as potential stakeholders in to, to make this an even more vibrant and uh, efficient food system. So here's, here's a few organizations that are currently in place. Um, Eastern Michigan University, some of the food gatherers of Ann Arbor, the Ypsilanti uh, government, uh, the food co-op, Washington County Public Health Office, uh, St. Joe's Hospital is up to the Northwest, as well as Growing Hope. Um, so as I mentioned, there's, there's a significant number of organizations in place and we've identified several potential. And what we're trying to do is grow this network and use uh, social events, tr efficient transportation to, uh, to better connect these, these dots. So these are its Lendy uh, transportation project maps and, uh, and the city's zoning map based on which we develop our biking system plan for its Lendy in the next 30 years. So through this map, we can uh, identify the uh, main neighborhood and through this map we're going to look at the main street that they're, they're going to do the uh, uh, street project and this is the uh, by identifying by identifying the main street and neighborhoods we plan to establish the biking system uh, through the main street in five years and reach out to the main neighborhood uh, by 2013 and uh, finish the uh, whole system by 2045 so uh, by going deeper to the streetscape design, we're imagining the street, uh, the biking system street will have a bike lane and a lane, shared lane for jogging and a, a hand, handicap, and we were proposing the beautiful uh, landscape. Okay, so the, the 
built the social life. These are some specific examples of things that within 30 years that the city could actually have. So right now we're starting with the farmer's market, obviously, and by 30 years, hopefully there'll be a couple in a strong farmer's market um, venue. And then parks, hopefully within a 30-year plan, there can be a more definite and uh, defined parks and recreation department. So I found this article on MLive, uh, or Michigan, Pure Michigan, that's eight reasons to live Ypsilanti. So I want to take this 30-year plan and build off these eight great reasons to build Ypsilanti. And the top three uh, reasons to live Ypsilanti were the events, the food, and the park. So they kind of fit right into exactly what I was talking about. So here I found three specific spaces in the city that are underutilized and right in large commercial areas or residential areas that could be improved to improve the social life. So it's Washtenaw, Michigan, and right across the street from the farmer's market. So these busy industrial streets and somehow how they can be turned into walking spaces um, that you can linger at. So our, our overview vision of its landing will provide citizens a well-designed bike, biking system uh, and a, a richer social life and a fulfilling food system. Uh, and our plan will cover almost the whole city and provide a, each single uh, uh, citizen the, the services. So with our last slide, we just want to tie it back to the present and say that the first obvious example of how we can really start to improve the public health in Ypsilanti is to start improving this farmer's market. And I think once this goes on, that can be a catalyst for further development of you know, public health and transportation and social life in the city of Ypsilanti.